Remember the angle sum formulas? Those are the formulas for computing sine of a plus b and cosine of a plus b. I like to sing them. Sine, cosine, cosine, sine, cosine, cosine, minus, sine, sine. This video gives a geometric proof of those formulas. There are many great proofs of the angle sum formulas, but I'd like to share with you one of my favorites for those who are interested. I'll write the angle sum formulas up here so we'll know what we're trying to prove. To prove these formulas, let me start by drawing an angle A and an angle B on top of that. Next, I'm going to draw a line perpendicular to this middle line and I'm going to extend the top line until it meets that perpendicular, making a right triangle. Finally, I'll draw a rectangle around that right triangle that just touches its vertices. My rectangle is now divided up into four right triangles, and I'm going to choose units of measurement so that the hypotenuse of my middle triangle has length one. Now let's stop for a minute to think about the angles of these other triangles. Since the top and the bottom edge of the rectangle are parallel lines, and this hypotenuse is a transversal, this angle up here must have the same measure as a plus b down here. Also, this skinny angle here must have the same measure as a down here, because this angle is 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus this angle here, and this angle a is also 180 degrees, the measure of the angles in a triangle, minus 90 degrees, minus that same angle. So I'll label this skinny angle with A. Next, let's figure out as many side lengths as we can. Based on the middle right triangle with hypotenuse 1, we know that this side length down here must be cosine of B, since adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine B. Similarly, this side length here must be sine of B, since opposite over hypotenuse is sine of B. Now we see that sine of B is the hypotenuse of this right triangle, which means that this little side here has measure sine A times sine B. That's because the opposite over the hypotenuse of this angle has to equal sine A. A similar argument shows that this side has to have measure cosine A times sine B. Please pause the video and take a moment to fill in the side lengths of this right triangle and this right triangle. You should be getting sine A cosine B cosine A cosine B, sine of A plus B, and cosine of A plus B. But remember, we have a rectangle here, so the opposite sides have equal length. This tells us that sine of A plus B has to equal sine of A cosine of B, plus cosine of A sine of B, which is exactly the first angle sum formula. Also, cosine of A plus B, which is this side length, is exactly the difference of this side length, cosine A cosine B, minus this side length, sine of A sine B. And that's the second angle sum formula. So I think that's a pretty great geometric proof of the angle sum formulas.